Yo, I'm Saxon with Guy and Cube, and in this Two Minutes Tuesday, we're going to look at a clip from one of our live streams where we talked about dynamic row level security and what the different functions are that you can use. Check this out. Uh, Reno, uh, is it possible to authenticate users and view data according to who accesses it? So the thing that screams to me on that is row level security. And if you click on the modeling view, the modeling tab here, and then go to manage roles, you will create the role. And so the email address is if up. you want that dynamic security. Yeah, if I right. want the dynamic security. And you can see right here, I'm using the email address. And Adam, I want you to talk about, I'm gonna ask you a question here. Ooh. Why did I use, why did I use user principal name? Uh, why didn't so, I use so there's, username? Yeah, there's you two know, functions. Like there's like, username and then yeah. there's user principal name. Uh, username will actually, so I'm going to switch over to my machine Please do. Yeah. and I'm going to have a drink of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm. All right. So, uh, username will return. Yeah. Pump this up so we can all see. This is the uh, the editor of choice oh, for all people. This is the best text editor in the world. Yeah, in yeah. the world. So username, when you're inside a Power BI desktop, it's going to return your local domain credential. So gynecube slash asaxton. Once you publish yeah. it to the service, username will return the user principal name, which is asaxton at gynecube.com. User principal name on both uh, sorry, uh, I did that wrong. Service. Right. So user principal name will return the UPN user principal name in both cases. And so just from a development and deployment perspective, it's always easier to, um, to just use user principal name. And otherwise you get into all this wonkiness and your column doesn't need to represent two separate values so yeah all right if you found that information useful we actually are getting a row level security course it may be up there by the time you see this go to gynacube.com courses to go check it out and i want to hand this off to you what do you guys think is this something that you've been using what have your experiences been i want to know leave it in the comments below if you like this video be sure to hit that big thumbs up button smash it if you so desire if it's your first time here hit that subscribe button and as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching, keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.